was working from home. I wasn't going out anywhere. I was taking precautions. I wasn't even walking my dog. This is not a hoax. This virus is real. It happened to me. It can happen to them. I went to the emergency room. Everything happened so quickly. They took my vitals. My oxygen pool was very low. Within 10 minutes, I only had um, a couple of minutes to contact my family um, to let them know that I was to be intubated. All I remember was uh, being put to sleep as I was being intubated and then six weeks of complete nightmares. They were explained the option of lung transplantation because my lungs were, you know, irreversibly damaged. And it was a last option for me. There wasn't anything else that they could do. Um, my other organs were starting to fail as well. 48 hours later, I received my lung transplant on June 5th. I had no idea that I had received a lung transplant. I just knew I was in the hospital. I looked at myself. I couldn't recognize my own body. I couldn't talk. I could barely lift a finger. I couldn't move. I was in a lot of pain. Um, I was very confused. I was very thirsty. All I could think about was that I wanted water. Um, I lost a lot of cognitive abilities as well as physical abilities. I'm still in a lot of pain. I'm very weak. Um, I'm working on my endurance and strength. Um, I'm still struggling to breathe and learning how to use my new lungs. I know some people are asymptomatic. They should still be careful and be considerate of those more vulnerable around them. Also, I want other centers to understand that lung transplantation is an option for terminally ill COVID patients. <clears throat> and I want to be an example of that.